Hi, this is going to be a short tutorial on the Atari 800 Win Plus emulator. This is um, the emulator that EmulationCD.com uses for the Atari 800 system. And um, if you want to talk about classic systems, Atari 800, that's as, as classic as you're probably going to get. A lot of games, uh, a lot of good games for an old system like this. So anyhow, uh, this tutorial was created mostly because when people start the Atari 800 Win Plus for the first time, it really doesn't make any sense. It's all black screen, you can't tell where the games are, uh, there's a setup screen that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but um, this will make it easy for you. When you first start it out, it's usually just black screen or you see a wizard. Just close the wizard, get to this window here, and uh, to where you can get to file. Open up file and go to auto boot image. And this will um, tell the program to always boot up uh, a certain uh, game ROM. So I'll go to auto boot image and it, it's going to open up in this window. There aren't any games in here, so you're going to have to go to ROM and it'll remember this so you won't ever have to do this again. Um, so all the games are in ROM and you'll see all these games in here. Now each one of these is not a single game. Each one of these are like uh, four or five or so games in one. So if I go to games zero one, then uh, you'll see when it opens up, there's a bunch of different games. Clowns, Balloons, Creep, and a few other ones. And um, to play one, you would just press the corresponding uh, letter on your keyboard and play it. So it's File, Auto Boot, Image, and choose your game. And now on these, they don't really name them. It just says Games 03, Games 05, Games 06, um, because there's four games in there, and uh, that would be a long um, name for the file if you named each game that's in the file. So you're going to have to either remember them or um, write them down or something like that. But in uh, like in this particular one, we've got Molecule Man, Master of the Lamps, Alley Cat, Spin Dizzy, and Spy vs. Spy. Let's say I wanted to play Spy vs. Spy. Well, I would just hit the E key on my keyboard, and it'll start up. Now, um, let's say I wanted to play Spy vs. Spy with my joystick or my gamepad. Well, we're going to assume that you've already got one installed, and I'm going to go to Input, Joysticks. We're going to assume you have one already installed in your computer because you haven't put it into your Atari 800 Win Plus yet. So you're going to go to number one, and uh, by default it starts out on the number pad. You're going to scroll down, and my uh, particular one is Interact Gaming Device. Yours might be named something else. Choose the one that uh, you've installed in your computer, and then you hit OK, and uh, you should have no problem starting up. I'll get my gamepad and start it up. Now it says press the fire button to start the game. I'll do that. And it looks like it's working. I can move around and beat up the black spy. Now, um, oh. let's say the screen's too small for you. Well, I'm going to go to view and then graphics op options. By default, it opens up in this tiny window. Um, so I'm going to go to graphics options, or I'm just going to hit full screen. When you've got a game open, you can just go to full screen, and it'll have the game in the full screen. Or you can go to graphics options so that every time you open up this program, it opens up in um, the size that you've uh, indicated here. Now you probably want to go full display every time, because you don't want it clipped. Uh, I don't know why anyone would, but uh, the options are there in case you did want it. You can go all the way up to 800 by 600 or even more if you wanted to. You can see mine's set pretty low, um, but you can change it to whatever you want. Now um, when you're done there, you can hit OK. Other options you might want to do is sound. Let's say the sound coming from the game is just too loud or too low, and uh, this doesn't have anything to do with the volume on your computer, it has to do with the volume coming out of the game. So you can lower it or raise it, whichever uh, need you have. 
and I wouldn't mess with anything here unless you really know what you're doing and then I would hit OK and that was sound, sound options. Now um, there's all sorts of different uh, options you can put in here including uh, saving sound let's say I like the music from Spy vs. Spy, well I click save sound and then uh, if I want to continue I hit OK um, you would hit OK and it would start recording now um, it actually it would ask you for the, the file the name that you want to save this file as and then it would start recording after you hit uh, save um, and then when, this, when you want to stop recording you would just go back here hit sound options or save sound and uh, it'll come up with another window which will indicate that it stopped recording. Um, so that's pretty much it for getting started. Everything else, there's a lot of different settings on here, but if you just want to play, that's just the meat of it. Now, there's a lot of help topics in here if uh, there are other questions you have. Very, uh, very simple and uh, telling you how to use it, different uh, options you can do with the menus. So uh, if you want to configure those, just go in there and, and read about it. But this uh, is a short tutorial to get you at least started. So uh, you want to get the games in there, auto boot image, remember that. So uh, Atari 800 Win Plus, pretty good uh, emulator. Everything runs pretty well, pretty quick. Um, and this was a short tutorial on that by emulationcd.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.